What's up, y'all? My name is Kroner. Here we are with another Wi-Fi battle with our friend K here, and we're gonna move the music to number six. Number six. And the Pokemon we are bringing today are Mega Scizor, um, Toxic Orb Subseeder Breloom, Assault Vest um, Gyarados, uh, the Entei Leftovers, Choice Scarf, uh, Espeon, and our Dragalge with Black Sludge. So we are going to start the battle here. Hopefully, not fail uh, tremendously. Uh, I probably brought the Entei to like a lot of battles, but I really want it to work. So my uh, opponent has the Greninja, the Ferrothorn, the Dragonite, the Cloyster, the Garchomp, and the Latias. So uh, I understand that Greninja is um, uh, Ubers, but I am fine with it being here uh, because honestly, I don't think Greninja should be Ubers. But. Uh, I'm going to be starting with uh, Radioactive because um, if the Ferrothorn starts Magic Bounce, if the Gre uh, Greninja starts, I can uh, dra uh, add a Dazzling Gleam it. If the Cloyster st starts, I can one-shot it because it has terrible special defense. If the Garchomp starts, then I should probably switch out because of um, it's, it's probably Scarf. Uh, that Latias uh, could be a problem because uh, it's really defensive uh, as a Mega, I think, uh, and even not as a Mega. Um, Cloyster is going to start, so um, that's perfectly fine with me. Actually, I wonder if Grass Knot will kill. Um, I can see him switching into the uh, uh, Ferrothorn here. I'm just going to go with the Grass Knot. It is super effective. I mean, uh, I don't know how heavy Cloyster is, but it is going to one-shot the Focus Dash. Course, course, course. Uh, Shell Smash is going to go off. Um, let's see, how fine am I with that? Because, um, let's see, how much priority do I have on my team? Um, I have Bullet Punch on Sundowner. So, uh, but am I fine with Radioactive just going down like this? Uh, like I said, I need its Magic Bounce. Who would I sacrifice, though? No one. I mean, I could scare it out with the uh, E-Speed. But even though I don't have E-Speed. Um, I really don't want to switch anything in on this thing. I'm just going to let Radioactive go down. It's probably a bad idea. Um, I could have switched into my... Um, I could have switched into my um, uh, Sundowner here. But uh, I really didn't want that uh, possible damage to go down. I don't believe I have the. Um, I don't believe I have the. Huge, I mean the roost on this thing. I don't. So that's why I couldn't. So bullet punch is gonna kill the cloister. Even if he goes for ice shard or plus two ice shards, shouldn't kill sundowner by any means. Uh, especially since I'm defensive. Um, so there's the bullet punch. This thing's going down. Had to sacrifice Radioactive for it, which was an absolute shame. Um, for some reason, I only had White Herb in mind. I didn't have Focus Sash, which is dumb, uh, to be completely honest. Um, so, he might switch into Ferrothorn. No, he's going to switch out into Dragonite here. This thing can have the Fire Punch. Uh, this thing probably has the Fire Punch, actually. Um... But it could also have, like, Dragon Dance. <laughs> so... Oh my god, this is hard. Um... If he D-dances... Then I'm screwed, but if he goes for Fire Punch right now, I'm screwed. Question is, is Sundowner outspeed Dragonite? Naturally. Uh, 95 speed, I really don't think so. I'm just gonna hard switch out into Iroh. If he goes for the, uh, D-Dance, then I'm screwed, pretty much, because I don't have E-Speed. Of course, because I caught this thing in-game. Um, so I'm gonna pressure him, pressuring him, and they're going for Fly. For going for Fly. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, it doesn't matter what I go for, because if I outspeed, then I outspeed. But I do outspeed, I mean, I don't outspeed, so he's gonna fly. He's gonna hit me for a lot of damage, actually. I'm gonna go for a flame charge, boosting my speed and breaking the scale simultaneously. So now I can go for the stone edge and probably kill. 
Um, that fly actually did so much damage. Oh my goodness. Dragonite going for fly. It makes sense, but also it's interesting. Really interesting. Uh, Stone Edge should one shot. Come on, Iro. Oh no. Okay. No, uh, no, no weakness policy on the field. Iro's gonna live that, which is nice. Which is very nice. Um, and then I can just go for, uh, should I go for another flame charge? Will that kill? If it doesn't kill, I'm gonna bite myself in the butt, but he doesn't have the E speed. Of course he has the E speed. I totally forgot that existed. I was talking about me not having it, but him not having it was another thing. So, uh, E speed is gonna hurt anyone no matter what, but, uh, I'm just gonna go on the Sundowner and Bullet Punch. I mean... Actually, I could go for a U-turn. I should probably kill. Um, no, but then he would have initiative. So I'm just going to go for Bullet Punch. He can. He's not going to E-Speed. He wanted to get that Fire Punch off. I don't know. Um, but he didn't E-Speed. Not going to get that little bit of damage off. I guess he didn't think he was worth it. Um, but... Um, let's see. I could see... So Ferrothorn's still an option here. Greninja's going to come out, though. Uh... Great play. Um, so Greninja doesn't get any like fire moves, so I'm just going to go for the U-turn. Uh, I understand a Hydro Pump will hurt, but uh, I think Sundowner can take it. Uh, oh, and it misses completely! Oh my god, that is that is huge. Uh, because that's going to do so much damage. It's going to do so much damage. I'm going to get that slow U-turn off, get something in easily on Grenin uh, Greninja. Um, and I'm just going to switch into Yomo. It doesn't get any uh, electric type attacks either. So, uh, despite its amazing uh, um, stuff, uh, it doesn't. It uh, it's great um, coverage. He's going for protect, switching to a no wow protect Greninja. Interesting, interesting. Is this a VGC team? I really hope not, uh, because. A lot of the 66 battles I've been having are VGC teams, and that really makes me sad because it's like I'm not actually beating them. But uh, this is a Leftovers Protect Greninja, which is very interesting. It's going to go for the Dark Pulse. It's going to be Protean, but it's not going to hurt too bad because I am a Salt Vest. Um, so Yomo can take that, and he's going to go for the Earthquake, and I'm going to get my Moxie Boost, which is nice. Um, the first time Moxie coming in handy. But uh, I should really... If I'm going to make this thing defensive, I should really put Intimidate on it, I think. I think that's what I should do, but, uh, it's not what I'm doing. Ferrothorn's going to come out here. I have a plus one, so I kind of do want to stay in, but at the same time, Ferrothorn will destroy things. Um, let's just go for an Earthquake. I mean, I have a plus one. Should hurt. Uh, it's probably going to be a three of KO. Um, and I think it is. No, after Leech Seed, it's not... Um, mm, I don't want to stay in Leech Seed because it's not going to be, especially if he's uh, Protect, if he's Protect Leech Seed, that would suck a lot. Uh, Swamp Monster, I don't think he can do much to this thing. Toad can do everything to this thing because super effective damage. And uh, this is actually not a typical Technician Toad, but rather, oh, Gyro Ball, that shouldn't hurt either. I mean... Brayloon's not that fast. And I get poison! It is the toxic... Uh, I mean, not toxic, but... Um, what's the word? Um, poison heal! Brayloon, believe it or not. So I'm going to sub up. Um, and he's just going to gyro ball again. That's going to break my sub. Um, so maybe going for sub was a bad idea. Because I thought, honestly, he would switch out or something. Uh... Shoot, can Toad one-shot this thing? Because I can't put it to sleep, obviously. Because it's grass-type. Um, I really don't... I can't one-shot this thing! Oh, boy! And will I be able to live another gyro? Oh, I should live another gyro, so I'm fine. Um, even after Rocky Helmet Iron Barbs. Stealth Rocks are up on my field now. Um, so that's probably... So if I had gotten that... I don't know... Maybe he just wanted to get rid of Toad? I don't know. He probably predicted another sub, actually. Um, but I'm going to be able to kill this thing with another Drain Punch. Uh, rocks up on my field aren't the worst thing in the world because I don't have any Focus Sash users. Um, 
and let's see, radioactive and radioactive is dead, and uh, who else died? Entei. So um, it was radioactive and Iro that would have been hurt the most by um, the stealth rocks, but they're gone now. Plus, I have the defog on Sundowner, the uh, thing. So Latias is gonna come in. Uh, and I'm gonna pray to God that I can live some kind of psychic attack. I'm gonna go for the spore. Pray to God that I can live some kind of psychic attack and go for the spore. It's gonna be the Mega Latias, which is which is really really scary. It's gonna be the same kind of sprite as the Mega Latios shiny, which is funny. Psy Shock. I am impish. I don't live it. I couldn't really switch anything in though. I could have switched into Sundowner, but again, I kind of I kind of just want that. Uh, Clay switch in. Actually, I could switch in a swamp monster. But I think a Psy Shark will kill me. Honestly, if I still had my Choice Guard radioactive, I would have uh, no qualms about um, about uh, going for the. Oh, I still have Yomo. Hmm, will Defog be a good option? I mean, if he only has Psy Shark. If he has Calm Mind, I'm screwed. I'm going to go with the Defog. Uh, he do he is going to the Calm Mind setup. Crap, 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 crap. Um. I'm gonna get rid of the rocks. I mean, I do have Ice Fang on, uh, Yomo. Don't get me wrong. The evasive is gonna fall. So now Stone Edges are gonna land more! Uh, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, Bullet Punch is 60. Goes up to 90. Knockoff goes to 130. So that's stronger. U-turn, although, goes is even stronger, but then I can switch on to Yomo and just go for Ice Fang. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to U-turn out. He's just going to Dragon Pulse, um, which is going to do an, a good amount of damage because he's Calm Minded up, but not going to do enough. It's probably like a 3 KO right there from that range. U-turn is going to do monumental damage. Um, I think a knockoff and a U-turn would have killed, but he still has Guard Trump around, so... Um, yeah, so I'm going to switch on to Yomo. I am Assault Vest, so even though he's Calm Minded boosted, I should be able to take a hit, and I can go for the Ice Fang. Uh, no, he's going to recover up. This is my set. This is my set. Calm Mind, Recover, uh, what's it called? Dragon Pulse, and Psychic Attack. That's my Latio set, which is interesting. Freeze. Damn. So that's, that's all sorts of um, unfortunate, because Ice Fang doesn't do enough. Ice Fang does not do enough. So there's the side Shock. That hits on the defensive side. So can Yomo take that? No, not at all! Crap. Uh, I'm going to go into Sundowner and double... I'm just going to knock off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I said I should have done. And knock off, then you turn. This Latias could sweep me. Oh my goodness, this is bad. So there's the recover. Oh man, if I had Bug Bite on this thing, it would be great. Because Bug Bite does more than U-turn. So there's the knockoff. It's not even going to do half. It's not even going to do half. Butt sacks. I'm going to go for knockoff again. He's going to go for the side shock. I should live it because it's not very effective. Okay, 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 okay. I wish I had Roost on this thing, gosh darn. But I'm going to go for another knockoff, and a bullet punch should finish it off. A bullet punch should finish it off. <sighs> okay, so this thing isn't going to sweep me. I'm fine with that. If he had recover spam, it wouldn't have mattered because I, I was spamming knockoff anyways. So, um, he had to attack at one point. And Garchomp is the last Pokemon. And this is actually really bad. This is actually really, really bad. I'm going to knock off. Uh... Aqua Tail. That's not stab. Will it kill? It doesn't kill. I get the knockoff off, but the Rocky, I mean, the uh, the rough skin might kill me. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the muscle band. Interesting enough. Um, I don't have speed, so I'm just going to go for bullet punch for damage. I mean, it is a technician boosted, so it's going to be pretty powerful. Um, it is rather powerful. So, rough skin is going to take me out. And then I'm gonna go out on the uh Oh shoot, if you went for a no you went for the Oh right, right, right. I don't switch in right away. So Swamp Monster, it's all up to you. Can you take a dragon claw? 
Can you drink it, take a dragon claw for the team? Can you take it and land this Drago meter? I should have gone for dragon claws. I do take it at 14, and we get the Draco meter off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. If I had... Oh my god, that 14. That 14. If I had not gone for knockoff right there, twice. I mean, if I had not gone for knockoff, that muscle band would have been enough to take out uh, my uh, thing. But... <sighs> thank you so much for the battle, K, And thank you so much, my viewers, for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below telling me what you enjoyed. And as always, leave a tip in the tip jar with the Octothor tip jar because tips can always help us become better battlers. So, that was intense. Until next time, Penguin Nation. Ah!